feel free to quote me. Uh, please don't misspell my name. You'll find it everywhere. I, I'll, I'll deal out a business card later. Um, yeah, so I suggest we'll just uh, have a quick tour and uh, and then chat. Um, I think we have, how much time do we have? Two hours. Two, Two hours, hours, okay. Hours. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, Unicos, I'm not going to pronounce Unicos, not Unicos or uh, uh, Unicos. Unicos. Uh, don't ask why. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, anyway, um, we're a relatively young company, but our roots stretch uh, pretty deep uh, into the pioneering days of uh, renewables and photovoltaics. A number of our staff, not only the, uh, the management, were involved in setting up the first solar companies and then also in, involved in, uh, 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 in Solon. And what they realized pretty early on when solar was already becoming a success in 2005, 2006 was that we're serious about transitioning to renewables, to 100% renewables, and we need to think about storage. And that's the reason why we founded Unitas, or a, a precursor company called Solon Labs, uh, that still used the Solon brand name, but actually had nothing whatsoever to do with Solon in terms of, basically they used the Solon name to get access to conferences. And they were allowed to do that because they were all friends. Uh, but <laughs> you know, from a strictly legal point of view, or uh, 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 there was no connection whatsoever. They, um, we then, you know, looked at, you know, uh, 27 different storage technologies, uh, looking at, you know, which ones were the nearest to market. And this is an interesting thing. When you talk about storage or when you talk about new technologies in general, people often talk about, you know, or, or I often get called up, hey, hey, there's this new technology. Isn't it great? What do you think? Uh, Usually I say, well, no, uh, but if I say, oh, this is my interesting, then my next sentence is, but it will take 10 or 15 years to industrialize. Yeah? That's, you know, even, you know, take, I always use the example of a dishwasher. Yeah? If, we, if we didn't have a dishwasher industry, yeah? but we knew everything about dishwashers, everything that we know today about dishwashers, it would still take us 10 years to get to the prices that we have now with dishwashers, just because you know you need the entire supply chain, everything just needs to, the industry needs to scale. And so having a great technology is one thing, having it relatively near to market is another thing. And that's sort of the, and you know, in terms of, and still batteries were always, or storage in general was always gonna be relatively expensive, so, and especially in the case of batteries, the, so the third criterion was that they have to have to last for a long uh, for a long time because it's going to be a high capital invest. Um, at the same time, a different team looked at business models. The entire thing was merged in 2009. Out came Unicus. Um, we looked at a couple of business models, but then basically focused on on-grid uh, solutions and off-grid solutions uh, in an industrial scale. We kind of looked at home storage too for a while, but then decided to go into the B2B market rather than the B2C market because you need to build a completely different kind of organization if you want to go into a B2C market, uh, obviously in terms of customer relationship management and all these things. Now, um, what you see here, what we also built this technology center in 2009 because, you know, um, because we're doing something so radically new and just how radically new, I'll explain in that. Um, that in order to get finance for this, in order to convince people of this, um, you needed to show something hands-on, we felt. And so we built this technology center that allows us to basically recreate any grid anywhere in the world to, to scale it up. In this case, we have uh, the uh, representative of the old system, the diesel generator, and you saw the system, you're leaving the CO2 for the Using sector, the first thing you see is a diesel generator. Why? Because our aim is to shut that down, but in order to demonstrate that you can do that, you need to have it. Then we have basically, we, we couldn't build, we can actually integrate the PV of the neighboring building, but that's not really what we want to do because we want to use uh, data from anywhere in the world. So what we do is we gather. Uh, 
high res data, low uh, irrigation, irrigation and wind data, and um, then basically you know, uh, feed that into inverters. And the power actually comes from the grid. Yeah? So that then, you know, um, convert into DC power. So all the properties are gone, you know, the frequency is gone, everything is gone. And you can basically, you have this clean power that you can convert, uh, uh, run through an inverter. And then it will behave just as a wind turbine, I don't know, standing on the shores of Brazil. Yeah? You have the exact wind data. It will come out, no, the power will come out just as it would come out there. Uh, and the same goes for the load. Then we have uh, the grid here, which is what you see over there. And that's a medium voltage distribution grid, about uh, 16 kilometers in total, no, 14 kilometers in total. Um, and that's because the power line has a couple of electrical uh, um, properties that are important. Uh, um, and so, basically, we can, and also we can connect the different parts of the renewable energy system, um, you know, at different intervals, you know, one kilometer, two kilometer, four kilometers, eight kilometers. And we have a half of, an, uh, of our renewable energy system, which is a hybrid battery consisting of a sodium sulfur battery over there and a lithium ion battery. To the grid, this is one battery. This is one AC battery. This is a hybrid battery. Um, and then we have, if this is the heart of the system, then the battery inverters are what I like to call the brain of the system. And they're really what allow us to switch off the generator and just how that works.